revolutionary greetings comrades the ongoing land evictions in zimbabwe has also affected the diaspora community you will know that uh, zimbabweans in the diaspora do buy land in zimbabwe uh, mainly it has been in urban centers but then uh, a number of people are now going rural. There is a campaign that uh, rural is better uh, because it is less expensive to build. Uh, we have seen modern houses that have been built um, in a number of uh, districts inside Zimbabwe. Uh, 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 these are big houses, tiled roof, uh, people drilling boreholes. Uh, in this YouTube channel, we once interviewed in a community from Bulilima, a, a man of those that work in South Africa as domestic workers who put together money to buy drilling pole machinery uh, to drill for their homes. Uh, because people understand, those that are in the diaspora, understand that at some point they will retire to Zimbabwe. And uh, the question is, where would one retire to? to? So th this, this is why that uh, the diaspora community uh, is busy also building modern homes in rural communities. But it, uh, this ongoing blitz, uh, which has been carried out by government of Zimbabwe to evict uh, land, uh, people that were resettled, has affected a number of diasporans who have received the calls uh, from people that are saying their homes uh, have been destroyed, particularly in Maswingo province. Some comrades were sending us some photos of their homes that have been destroyed in Maswingo province. Uh, throughout the country, uh, the diaspora community uh, that uh, built uh, modern homes in rural communities uh, are uh, basically in a panic mood because uh, they do not know what, what is happening or what is going to happen to their homes. We saw a letter allegedly written by ZANU-PF supporters uh, uh, in Matibele North. The letter was, is dated 16 February 2024. Among us, the issues, the internal issues that they are raising, we do not know whether the letter is authentic, but uh, it's a um, about five page letter. Uh, it speaks about various issues that affect ZANU PFB. It, uh, uh, its poor performance in, in the 2023 elections in Matibele North. But of interest uh, is what they accuse the ZANU PF chairman of, who is also the resident minister, Richard Moyo. Uh, they are saying uh, he is responsible for selling pieces of land. Uh, in Matebele North, and uh, specifically selling to those in the diaspora. Uh, and uh, the government of Zimbabwe says in its argument uh, in carrying out this eviction says uh, the people were uh, bought land from land barons. So the letter uh, by the ZANU PF supporters uh, is identifies Richard Moyo as one of the land barons that have been pocketing money uh, from the diaspora community. Now, the issue is those in the diaspora community, uh, they, would be, they go to uh, district offices uh, in Zimbabwe. Uh, I know for a fact that some will be going to Escotini a district offices from for those that come from Umzingwane district and others in various district offices uh, to acquire uh, uh, about the availability of land <coughs> for them to build their homes. And uh, we know that the district administrators who are supposed to be giving uh, correct information on how one then uh, uh, have access to a piece of land for them to build a home uh, in the main are uh, members of ZANU-PF. Uh, you then see this collusion between the district administrators and the ZANU-PF politicians, uh, resulting uh, in some people required to have a ZANU-PF membership card for them to have a piece of land or some acres of land to build their homes. Uh, some of these people are the ones today that are victims. 
uh, instead of getting correct information, uh, which you do not blame someone who's in the diaspora looking for land to build, uh, but the officials, uh, instead of giving correct information to say for you to have a piece of land or an acre, uh, this is what is required of you. You have to go through the Ministry of Lands and Agriculture. Uh, these are the documents that are required of you that, that you need to get then uh, <coughs> the land uh, uh, then gets given to you. Right. Uh, so a number of people uh, that have been going there, some of them have been affected. Uh, by this uh, 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 land breaches, the evictions where people have been evicted from their homes. So you might be one of those that uh, uh, got land uh, through this arrangement in visiting some of it, are even visiting the PF offices at district uh, level. Uh, some are visiting the offices of lands and agriculture, some visiting district offices. Uh, um, to try and acquire pieces of land to build their homes. You might want to share with us, we have done two uh, videos uh, uh, explaining the, the background, the historical background of the land question in Zimbabwe. Please share with us if you are one of those people that in, uh, either your home has been destroyed or you are also in panic because you got your land thrown. Uh, this arrangement. I am Abuto Nicholas Mapena. Please like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you are on TikTok, please do follow us. Otherwise, goodbye.